Welcome to the Mixed Media Tapes. I'm Philip J. Mellon. The Mixed Media Tapes is a short artist talk series based on word and phrase prompts. I have invited visual artists to select prompts from a list and to share their thoughts and stories based on those prompts. In this installment, Cale Tunnison from Chicago talks about what an artist's mind is like, along with his thoughts on a finished painting. Listen in. My name is Cale Tunnison. Uh, my studio is located in Chicago, Illinois, in the United States. Um, first prompt is, what is an artist's mind like? Um, for me, I describe my mind when I'm painting anyway as kind of like the stock exchange just before the closing bell. It's just utter chaos with words and ideas and numbers just shouting over one another, just jockeying for position, um, which is great because it's a great distraction from everyday life, but can kind of become addicting when you, when you paint to escape because when you stop painting, you know, you're back in the real world. So you just want to keep painting and it's just a never ending cycle. <laughs> Cause I mean, for me, I, I always say it's, it's better to be busy than bored. So I, I love when my mind is just on the verge of being overwhelmed, <laughs> which I think is why I like painting because like I said, it, <laughs> that, that's how my mind works. Second prompt, finish painting, um, which as an abstract painter has always kind of fascinated me. Um, I think it's really interesting when an artist finishes a painting and they don't really like it because it's kind of like, like, why did you stop? Like, like keep going, paint, paint over it and start again. But I think you really have to trust where the painting takes you. Because, for example, I, I moved to Chicago um, August of last year. And right after I got here, I was working on two paintings for weeks. Like, I, I could not get anywhere with them. Like, I couldn't even come close to finishing them. And I finally did, and I hated both of them. But I knew they were done. And I was just looking at them like a week or so ago, and I was like, wow, I really like these. These are awesome. I mean, so, yeah, I think you, you do really need to trust where it takes you. Um, I don't – and I don't know how to determine whether or not a painting's done. It's just – for me, it's just kind of like a feeling thing. Um, just feels balanced and complete, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's funny. It usually um – uh, takes me longer to hate one of my paintings yeah. rather than right away. And maybe that's not the same with every, you know, with every painting, but, um, I know when I get some paintings behind me, you know, I look at older work and think, oh my God, like, what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing. But it's interesting that it went the opposite way where, where, you know, almost instantaneously you hated them and then, yeah. you know, maybe a year later you, you're like, wow, that, those aren't so bad. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, it can go both ways. I mean, a lot of the time I'll finish something and, you know, I think it's, the greatest thing I've ever made, and then a month later, I'm like, you know, garbage. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it, it, and yeah, it can go either way. And I know a lot of people will go back and you know touch up older paintings or modify them or change them. And I personally never do that. I mean, I'll, I'll take an old painting and I'll, I'll paint over it and I'll 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 start from essentially scratch. But I never really change a painting. I don't know why, maybe I should. <laughs> Hi, this is Kale Tunnison. You're listening to the Mixed Media Tapes. I'm your host, Philip J. Mellon. I'll be releasing the individual talks from the project here over the coming weeks. Please stay tuned, and thanks for listening.